we're uh, in, in Cyprus at the, what we call our National Squad Training Camp. Uh, it's part of our annual preparation plan where we bring together our top uh, swimmers and support staff to uh, start building our, our team environment, but also to provide a, a concentrated training environment for the group over a 10-day period. The British Gas Training Camps are really vital to uh, you know, GB swimmers' um, training schedule because it's the one opportunity where you get to get together as a team, uh, you get to train outdoors, get a little bit of vitamin D, uh, train long course as well, um, and just generally just getting together as a team, that's kind of the major point. Warm weather training camps are you know, imperative really to, to our performance, to get the full team together and you know, really bond as a team, um, interact, because when we're at the major competitions, we're there obviously to compete as a team, but as individuals as well. So it's nice to come in a little bit more relaxed, but get some decent work in. They provide a really good opportunity to kind of meet up with all the other national squad athletes across the country who obviously we don't really see very often, especially you know if they're from Sterling and you're down in Bristol. So it's a really good chance for you to come together, train against each other, draw on the experiences from other coaches as well because obviously all of the coaches are here. Um, so it's kind of a really good kind of putting your heads together. You get the best sessions from the best coaches with the best swimmers and it's kind of a really great opportunity. I swam really well at the British Gas Championships in March, uh, where I qualified for the World Championships in Shanghai in the 1500. Uh, and the time was a significant improvement from last year, after I had a, a bit of a tough year last year, so that was really pleasing. I've already qualified for the Worlds this year in Shanghai, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, I only qualified in the 200 butterfly, I would like to qualify in the 100 as well, so hopefully I'll do well that, in that in Sheffield. Yeah, it's gone really good. We, we had our trials in March, and. Um, Swam really well there, three PBs, three four qualifications for Worlds, and uh, yeah, really happy with our swim. I think we can have an absolutely fantastic World Championships, very successful. The mood in the camp is there's just this kind of buzz, great, great excitement about the place. And I think it's just that London factor, thinking, you know, next year we'll have a home Olympics. It's just, it's going to be the opportunity of a lifetime. It's definitely an exciting time. I mean, how, how much more exciting can it get? It's. I remember when we we got we won the candidacy and we we it was announced London would uh, host the games. That was seven years ago, and now we're down to one, and it will it will absolutely fly by. I think it helps in a way that it's a home Olympics and there's a lot of like excitement going on about it because like it just makes you want to be there even more and every day when you get into training it makes you think oh there's not long to go now I need to put in a hard session and every every session counts so it's definitely helping me personally in like my build up and that I, I want to make that team no matter what so I've given everything I possibly can at the moment in training to make sure that I do. <laughs>